Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some pretty great stories about capitulation. First up, Wolf of Wall Street, who used to call Bitcoin a scam, goes on a show to talk about how fantastic Bitcoin actually is. Also, Voyager is having a problem with their withdrawal fees, and I give them a call out because nobody gets a free pass in this show, and I feel this is personally just ridiculous. Finally, we're going to talk about the MicroStrategy Seminar where there was 6,917 corporations present. So if you want to bet against Bitcoin, I don't think this is the best time. So we'll do all that, but first take a look at what's going on in the market. So today it is uh, the big game day. It is Sunday. It is, well, what is it? Sunday, February 7th, 7.40 a.m. Uh, El Paso, Texas time. And this is what is going on with the market. And before we go into the market, I just want to make mention of one thing. Uh, right now, I know that the audio isn't the most crisp because I use these fantastic earbuds. And... To me, it didn't sound too bad, but to uh, a large percentage of people, and it's been growing steadily, they just find it unacceptable. They don't like it, and uh, they feel like, hey, you know what? You should do better. And you know what? You're right. So uh, actually, Steve from Voyager actually said this pretty well. He said, look, he goes, I don't really gain much insight from people patting me on the back. I gain a lot of insight from people who call me an a-hole and then tell me why I'm an a-hole. And uh, it stands the reason. So, like, people were complaining about the audio and the audio, and I would just kind of watch it and say, okay, okay. And then every so often it would, like, kind of increase in frequency. And it seems like now it's hit, hit a tipping point. And this person, uh, male or female, I don't know, Do Fox, sent me a great response. Because not only did he say, this is unacceptable, but he goes, this is how you fix it. He says, I really enjoy your content. Could you please spend, spend some of this crypto on a sure SMB 58? a Cloud9 line adapter, and, a, and any 196 kilobytes per second 10-bit USB 3 interface with a sound control. And I was like, I don't know what the hell that is. So I did a little bit of research, and uh, he's correct. I need to do that. So I've already ordered them. They should be here next week, and uh, we'll see how the audio goes. This is the same microphone and audio setup uh, that Joe Rogan has, so not inexpensive, but I think it'll pay off dividends. Now, I don't know how it's going to sound like in this uh, this huge room as far as like the echo, but at least the gain and the pitch and uh, all the different S's and the SARS uh, should actually calm down, so we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, so for Do Fox, thanks. In the future, if uh, if anybody has a problem with the, with the show or, or issues, you can always put it in there, but uh, it's always really great when someone has a suggestion on how to fix it. So, thank you. All right, so this is what's going on with the market. Hey, uh, Bitcoin is uh, actually it went over 40,000 last night and everybody was super pumped and I'm like, well, that won't last. And here we are. So Bitcoin is at uh, 38.5, Ethereum 1579. And it was, people keep talking about like Bitcoin or Ethereum's gonna go to the moon, go to the moon, go to the moon. And it's gonna hit 3,000 or 10,000 like in a couple of weeks. I don't know if that's really true. I don't think that's true. I think it'll hit 10,000 by this year, but. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. So just uh, you know, buy the dips, dollar cost average in, and when it goes down, put your put your money in. You can dollar cost average, which is you know you put money in every day, or you can dollar cost average and and uh, or dollar value average. Uh, take a set amount, let's say like, let's keep it simple. You have a thousand bucks, and you say I'm going to do in four uh, installments. So whenever it takes a big dip, you put it in there, put it in, put it in, put it in. Then it kind of averages out. Also, congratulations to Cardano. They finally hit that fourth spot, and uh, they're up at 63 cents. Now, the all-time high was around $1.13, so I like this. This is looking pretty good for Cardano. And if you don't know, they just went over into the uh, Gogan era, era for a smart contract. So congratulations to Cardano. XRP still on five. Anything great? Everything's down. Nobody really cares. Really, what I what I care about is I use Trade the Chain, so I just want to see this. This one-hour projected range. Let me blow this up. Hopefully, this works out. Hey, look at that. So I want to click on this to see what's going to go up in the next hour. Holy smokes, which one's this? Luna. Uh, this is Mike Novogratz thing. If you're watching this pretty soon, just know that uh, Luna looks like it's going to go up. And how Trader Chain works is that they crawl the websites and the blogs, and they have a direct API into uh, Twitter. So they give you a sentiment analysis. I don't know, Elron. This one, 0 0.2 to 5% Aon, Quantum, Anchor, Maker, very bullish. Looks good. All right. That's what's going on. Let's get into today's uh, top stories. And off we go. Boop, boop. Oh, no. This one. So this one was good because I'm not going to play the clip. I don't really, you don't need to know it. And it's just, it's pretty much uh, Jordan Belfort going, hey, I was wrong. And that's great. So the thing is, I want to ask you a question. Was there any change to Bitcoin? Um, did they make any upgrades? Was there any kind of uh, new huge partnerships announced? Uh, anything uh, massive in the news? Not really. 
But really what it comes down to is this. This is why I talk about people in the space, people who are like a Michael Saylor, like a Mass Mutual, like a Paul Tudor Jones, because those guys give credibility to Bitcoin. We know it has credibility. But people like Jordan here, he needs to, see, to hear and see it 10, 20, 30 times. It's just like in sales. Before you buy something, it's going to take you a long time. You got to see it seven, time, seven to 10 times before you buy it. And Jordan just took a little bit, little bit more time. And the thing about him is that he, and he even admits it, he goes, there is nobody on this planet that knows uh, more about short selling in the stock market than me. And I could have sworn it was a scam. He goes, but now that I see it, I understand it. And it took him a long time. So this took a pretty bright guy who uh, did a lot of crazy things back in the day. But he didn't make a lot of money. But he did swindle a lot of people. So don't, don't put that over him. But uh, that doesn't matter. What really matters is, is that this guy who was heavy into finance took him this much time. So when all these different people are, are around you talking like it's a scam or it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow up and tulip mania and stupid stuff like that, just remind them and go, you know what? A lot of people are capitulating. They're moving over to Bitcoin. The newest one was Jordan Belfort and a lot of different people that are big and high up uh, in finance. So I think it's going to be good and that's why I invested into it. Also, it's uh, the best performing asset class over the last decade. So put, so <laughs> put that in your pipe and smoke it because <laughs> that only makes sense. <laughs> all right. So that's what's going on there. Let's move on. Next up, uh, Voyager's got this withdrawal problem. And you can see right here, to buy and everything, it's pretty good. Remember, Voyager is a broker. I talk about it all the time. People say, stop shilling it. But I'm telling you right now, when I talked about it, it was 29 cents. Now it's like 229, so sure. But again, nobody gets a free pass. So when I see problems, I point it out, and this is a problem. The problem is, is that the um, uh, withdrawals are just out of control. So Cardano is almost, it's at 63 cents. It might hit a dollar pretty soon. So if you get a, if you got to spend 20 dollars, which if, if one Cardano is a dollar and it, it takes 20 Cardano to withdraw, you're spending 20 bucks for withdrawal. That's not happening. Uh, band, bat, Bitcoin cash. And if you do the conversion, it's like between five and seven bucks. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I said, hey, these fees are ridiculous. Come on, Voyager. You can do better than this. But it is, right? I mean, do you want to pay that? I don't want to pay that. So this is, I tweeted this out last night. Then a couple hours, I get this from the CEO, Steve. He says, we'll do a review of these over the next few days. So that's good. So here's the thing. How many times do you complain about your exchange or your brokerage? You see the CEO saying, we'll take a look at it and we'll fix it? I don't. Uh, I see Alex Mashinsky from Celsius doing that from time to time. And that's why I uh, appreciate that. And again, I talk about my next tweet. I say, hey, invest in the people because this is really what makes uh, the market go around. So we'll see if he fixes it. That's the big thing. I'm not going to give anybody a pass and that's all. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our last piece. Oh, real quick, I want to show you this. This is pretty funny. Uh, I know uh, there's this uh, meme review from, uh, ah, what is it? Something Daily, Crypto Daily. And he always does meme reviews, so this, I'm going to submit this to him. Uh, so it's like, you know, guys just sitting here going, hey, have you taken, have you taken a look at a Doge? And of course, these, everybody from 2017 18 is like, nope, I'm out of here. So we see Doge pumping. Just remember, there's really not much of the great fundamentals. There's no change. It's just people pumping it. I don't, <laughs> I don't get it, but uh, I thought it was a pretty funny one. All right. And then last up, this is from my man, Weston Nelson. And he says, hey, here's some keywords, 6,917 enterprises. And I was like, what the heck is that? And then uh, Alex sent out a tweet. He goes, if you don't understand that 6,917 corporations were in the MicroStrategy seminar when they gave everybody the Bitcoin playbook, you don't really know what's going on. And I was like, that's a lot of people. So Again, I want to bring it to your attention, just like Jordan Belfort here, people are capitulating. If you had, whoops, if you had almost 7,000 corporations attending your events so you could, they could figure out how to get their hands on Bitcoin, which is only 18 and a half million, I think it's only 16 million with things that are lost. Do you really want to bet against Bitcoin? Well, I can tell you this, there's a lot of people that are on the sidelines and they're, sh they're going to short it. And we've talked about this in our uh, last uh, a couple of videos and we've gotten confirmation from the block and also from Alex Mascioli, head of Bitcoin services. He said a lot of people were hitting him up for uh, billions to uh, short Bitcoin. So if they want to do that, good luck to you. I think you're going to get your face ripped off and I'd love to see it. I will just be dollar cost averaging sitting in the background with my popcorn. <laughs> That's all. All right. And then lastly, I just want to make mention of uh, this last little piece here. In the description of all my videos, uh, this one from yesterday, uh, if you scroll down, I don't give these guys enough uh, rec recognition, and they're all great. Uh, these are all the people that I listen to almost on a daily basis. 
I know not a lot of people do this, but uh, I, I feel like it's important for you to get rounded information, not just from me, but from everywhere else that you can see. Because like, there's some difference of opinion. Like me and Coin Bureau, we have a different way of doing things. And uh, he's really good for like breaking things down and doing different project reviews, which I really, usually, usually don't do. Uh, Alex, he's really great because he's behind the scenes guy. I mean, like I said, he's the head of institutional investment. He's the one that tells me all the things about, you know, what these big institutions are doing and how they're moving. And it kind of uh, makes my uh, videos better. And Shoshi, he's a guy that does a lot of things. He's a developer and he breaks things down in that. So if you're like more of a nuts and bolts guy, this is your guy. Crypto Nobs, he's great because he's like a downtown Abbey UK guy and he's like, he's. Like I speak kind of slow sometimes and he speaks real slow and real meticulous. So if you like that, that's your man. Crazy for Cryptos is great because uh, Digital Day is the one that, that turned me on to Theta and a couple of other projects um, and uh, Bitcoin Cash. One of them. So I like him. Check him out. Bitcoin Family, I like Diddy because he is, uh, you know, he's done what to, a lot of us would like to do. Dump everything and then travel the world and bet on Bitcoin big. And then lastly, Weston Nelson, uh, he's from our uh, Trinity Trading and he's new. So I'm trying to help him out uh, by getting his, his channel started. He's more of a sentiment guy. So if you were, you know, if you, if you looked at this trade of chain, you like this little part here, where we're talking about the one hour projected range, uh, he's your usually guy. And there's one more I left off, I need to add him back in, is blockchain bulls. You can take a look at him. That's Jeff from um, Altcoin Buzz. He just got a new channel. So uh, again, a lot of people don't do it. I do it. This is what I feel is uh, important because uh, don't just get the information from me. You got to get from a lot of sources. And uh, again, not not um, investment advice, but I think it's important. All right, so you made it to the end. Congratulations. If you liked the video, why don't you give a thumbs up? And then uh, if you want to hear more, why don't you subscribe? Because uh, it's pretty time sensitive, the things we talk about, the news and whatnot. So just do that, hit the bell, and I'll you know send you the information as fast as I can. Uh, also, if you like these types of videos, there'll be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. Not sure, let YouTube do its magic. And that is it. So uh, everybody enjoy the big, the big game. Tell everybody about uh, crypto during the, uh, the halftime show. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.